This tutorial is for the tubular cast on. It's a great cast on for making one by one ribbing just roll around the edge seamlessly. No cast on ridge edge. It makes for a really nice stretchy cast on perfect for one by one ribbing. There are several ways to do this. I prefer using a contrasting color scrap of yarn or ribbon. You can do it without scrap yarn, but I find that way a bit fiddly and much prefer this. To start, make a slip knot and then use the backwards loop cast on method. If you want more details on the backwards loop cast on, check out the Knitting Whimsy video on that. To determine the number of stitches you need to cast on, divide your total desired stitches in half and add one. If that gives you a half number, round up to the nearest whole number. This will make more sense as you do it. After you cast on the correct number of stitches, you're ready to begin set up row one. Knit one, yarn over one. This is doubling the number of stitches that you have on your needle. So you bring the yarn to the front for the yarn over and knit into the scrap yarn. Bring your yarn to the front and knit into the scrap yarn. You just do this all the way down, almost doubling your stitch count. You can't quite double it because at the end here, you can't do a yarn over since there's no other stitch to sandwich that in between. That's why you add the one extra stitch. Now you're ready for setup row number two, which is slip stitches with yarn in front and knit the yarn overs. So here I'm going to slip my first stitch with yarn in front, bring my yarn to the back and knit the yarn over. Slip the stitch with the yarn in front, bring my yarn to the back, and knit the yarn over. Bring my yarn to the front to slip the stitch, bring my yarn to the back to knit the yarn over. Keep doing this all the way down the row, knitting the yarn overs and slipping the stitches with the yarn in front. And now you're done with setup row number two. And at this point, if you want to join your work in the round, you can do that. That comes with a few additional things to consider. So if you're going to be doing this in the round, check out the Knitting Whimsy Tubular Cast On Knitting in the Round video. Setup row three is just knit one, slip one with yarn in front. So knit the first stitch, bring the yarn to the front, slip one. Knit one, bring the yarn to the front, and slip one. You can tell it's starting to come together where you're slipping the purl stitches with the yarn in front, making a purl looking stitch, and you're knitting the knit stitches. Now you're ready for setup row number four which is slip the pearls with yarn in front and knit the knits. Here you can see I've got a pearl looking stitch. So I'm going to slip the pearl with yarn in front, bring my yarn to the back and knit. Carrying this all the way down the row, slip the pearls, bring my yarn to the back and knit the knits. Slip the purl, bring my yarn to the back, knit the knits. At this point, you can see that this is coming together to make a nice ribbing with no edge. You can really see how it's taking shape now. Setup row number five is really the same. Knit the knits, slip the purls. This time we're starting with a knit. So knit the knit, bring the yarn to the front, slip the purl and continue this all the way down the row. Slip the purls, knit the knits. Slip the purl, knit the knits. And once you've completed this, you've completed all of your setup rows. And you can really see you have the start of some nice ribbing. Here's a summary of all of the setup steps. Once you get to row three, 
you really don't need to be paying attention to the setup steps. It just becomes knit the knits and slip the pearls with the yarn in front. And then you're ready to carry on and just continue your ribbing for as long as your pattern calls for. Here you can see I've completed a nice section of one by one ribbing and I can take out the scrap yarn at any point after the setup rows. You just kind of have to pick it out. I have this ribbon, which is really nice and slippery. That's kind of why I like using the ribbon instead of scrap yarn. Um, but if it's helpful, you can also use a needle to kind of help pull it out and cut it off every once in a while so you don't have so much to pull through your stitches. But you can see here, it comes out super easy. Another option here is to use a crochet hook to get your scrap yarn onto your needle and technically then you can pull it off in a much easier way but I find that actually doesn't work a lot and I prefer not having to find a crochet hook and go through that process. So this is my preferred method. I hope you like it. I hope you found this video helpful and end up with this really nice bind off that rolls around makes for a really great edge with some nice stretch and is perfect for one by one ribbing. There are a lot more Knitting Whimsy technique tutorials and project tutorials. I hope you subscribe and check them out. Happy knitting!